Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Ultimates Lord Zed and his throne from Super 7. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, both of these pieces look great. And we're actually going to start with the throne just because it's a little bit easier to talk about. And uh, honestly, just some really good sculpt going on here. Uh, the throne ha that definitely has very like sharp angles and just they, they pretty much nailed it here. Wow, and I knocked over Zed. So <laughs> it is a very big piece, but it's not heavy. It's actually hollow, which you can probably hear. And uh, yeah, some really good sculpt work. A nice wash bringing out all that detail as well. That kind of nice stone look. Definitely, you know, very striking. Looks exactly as it should. I uh, got a little bit of red here for the, uh, you know, kind of birds at the, uh, the armrest. Like a little feet here. So some nice clean sculpt, kind of Art Deco looking. And then we get the silver Z on the back. Nice bright silver paint as well. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Just really cool looking throne. Uh, then we get to Lord Zed himself. And uh, also great work here. Like, you know, this is definitely a little more... Actually, it, it falls somewhere between, like, as the suit looked and the way kind of some of the earlier toys looked. And uh, I think it actually sits pretty comfortably there because it's some great work. You can see that paint with the uh, the red base, but with that little bit of white and a little bit of darker red. So but however they treated this, like, definitely kind of brings it to life. It has a really nice look to it. All the silvers are nice and bright, just like they are on the throne. Just really, really nicely done. A great sculpt throughout with the, the muscles going on. And uh, you know, we, we get the tubing, which we saw in the uh, Hasbro one as well. And uh, yeah, just a little bit lighter tubing here than, than what we saw with Hasbro, but definitely works. Uh, doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out or anything like that. Everything's very secure. Uh, and then we get to that head sculpt and you know, very nicely done. I do like that they added the, the black wash or the black paint to kind of bring out the teeth part. Uh, then we get that nice deep red for the eyes and uh, you know, you get the same silver we had before and then just, you know, kind of seeing more of that red with that kind of like light, those lighter tones to it for the brain. And uh, yeah, just overall, definitely a very cool looking figure. We get a really nice loadout of accessories, so let's jump right in and uh, right out of the box for hands. We do get a pair of grips with a uh, horizontal hinge and that is significant because our next set of hands are a pair of grips with a vertical hinge. I do like that Super 7 does include both with a lot of their figures. That's kind of a cool touch. And then we get a pair of fists. Also love that all of these hands have all the silver painted in everywhere. Very, very nice. Then we get three actually unique sculpts. So we get kind of a posed hand for the left. We get a posed hand for the right, which is actually slightly different. As you can see, the middle finger is a little more extended there. And then we get a larger right gripping hand, and that is for one of our other accessories. And then finally, we get a left pointing hand. And that extra accessory that 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 uh, extra holding hand is for is the, uh, you know, growing bombs, as it were. <laughs> I actually forget their official name, so I apologize there. But uh, as you can see, that fits right in the hand very, very nicely. It looks awesome as well. So great job there. Again, all that bright silver just shining through. And then we get his Z staff, of course. Sculpted beautifully. I really like the way this looks, especially with that silver paint. Kind of looks like that smooth kind of finished metal look. You can see there, and I get the point at the end. So just really, really nice looking. Then we get two head sculpts. So we saw the first one in aesthetics, and then the second one, I think the only difference is that the visor is lighter. Unfortunately, I have a little silver paint splatter here. Uh, that is really sloppy over here on the side. Uh, so that's unfortunate, but I'm, I like the darker red anyway. So for me, that's not an issue, but definitely something to watch on for yours, especially if you're looking for this particular head sculpt over the other one. Um, so yeah, and then finally we get the snake, the uh, python boa. I'm actually not sure which one this is, but uh, very, very nicely done. Beautiful sculpt here. Some nice paint with the with the spots. And then of course the, the face, we get the eyes and the tongue painted very nice and clean. Uh, not bendy wire, unfortunately. So it can only you know lay in certain ways, but uh, still a very, very cool addition. And that will do it for accessories. 
articulation balance here are actually much better than expected. And uh, as you can see, freestanding kicks, no issues. Not only that, but the leg range is good. And we're gonna get to that. Um, but breaking it down point by point, we do have a ball hinge for the head. Uh, unfortunately, we're not getting much up because of the way that head is sculpted. So uh, you know, that, that's about as much up as we're getting. We do get some really nice down though. Uh, we get a little bit of tilt. We get some rotation. Uh, we come down the arms, we are hinge and swivel. So coming up to just about a T. Uh, we do have some bicep swivel, single jointed elbows, which also rotate. Then we get the hands, so we are swivel and hinge. Again, we do get those vertical hinges on the other grips. Then we get, oh, pardon me, a ball joint at the diaphragm, which is really nice. Not something we normally see with Super 7. And uh, so yeah, it's got some nice movement there. So you get some pretty decent crunch forward. Not really any back because of all the sculpt we got going on with the spinal column. Uh, but we do get some really, really nice side to side. So there's that. Then we get a swivel here at the waist. Then we come to those hips and uh, they sculpted it right. So you can get full splits with that. That's positively beautiful. Something we definitely do not get with the Hasbro version. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. We do get thigh swivel there as well. Our front kick also full 90, pretty much perfect. I gotta put some uh, put some uh, oil in there to kind of get rid of that squeak, but still, uh, we get single jointed at the knees, so we're coming to just about there. Unfortunately, we're running into the sculpt there. Um, no rotation there, though. Oh, we do get some rotation. Pardon me. <laughs> so right there. Then for the feet, we get some really nice point, really decent forward, and uh, a little bit of rocker as well. So that will do it for articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other MMPR Ultimates. With some other Power Rangers lines. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. And actually, lastly, here's how the Lightning Collection Lord Zed uh, skills with the Super 7 throne. So my final thoughts on the MMPR Ultimates Lord Zed and Lord Zed's throne figure from um, Super 7 is that both of these are actually excellent. They are sold separately. Uh, they are two separate pieces, which is kind of nice because if you don't want the throne, you don't have to get it as, in, as part of the, the package and it doesn't inflate the price of the, the base figure. However, um, you know, I, I absolutely think both are worth getting. I had to go for both, especially because I didn't have a Lord Zed throne yet. And uh, I will say that, like, even though it's clearly bigger than the Lightning Collection one, it does kind of work. So if you're looking for a throne for your Lightning Collection Zed, uh, you know, you could do worse. So <laughs> definitely rec recommend that there. And I was much more impressed with Zed than I thought it would be. Like, I definitely got it because, like, I had to give it a shot. And uh, I'm impressed. I, I think they did a great job here. So if you're a fan of Lord Zed uh, or just MMPR in general and you are know, thinking about it, definitely pick it up. It's available from various online retailers. So uh, I'll have a link or two in the description below if you are interested. That being said, I hope to see you back here because I do multiple reviews a week of action figures related to tokusatsu, dinosaurs, monsters, pro wrestling, and more. So if any of that appeals to you, come on back. Let's talk some more toys. Let's just escape the world for a while. But ultimately, I hope that you are well. I hope that all of your toy dreams come true. And most importantly, I hope that you and yours stay weird, Simeons.